Hey guys, Crystal Lopez from crystalandcomp.com here. Are you needing some elf on the shelf ideas? Who isn't this time of year? Follow me as I show you what we found at Dollar Tree. I bet we have 20 plus ideas here on the cheap, ways to do elf on the shelf without breaking the bank. And these are low prep ideas, super easy. Come along, here we go. So let me show you all of the things that we have for Elf on the Shelf. Let me just tell you, I have four or five or more of these little guys. We have been doing this for, ooh, right in my face. We've been doing this for years, seriously. Over on my site, crystalandcup.com, I have over 200 super awesome ideas and lots of really cool printables that I share with people to help, to help you do Elf on the Shelf with low prep and like, super simple quick things that you can do yes it's like it's the beast it's the nature of the beast i should say do we do off on the shelf do we not once you get going you can't stop so it seems but by about day i don't know two <laughs> or 15 you're running out of ideas and you're stressed out about it and i want to help take that stress out so I've done all kinds of different things over the years. I've got tons of really cool printables that you can do that are super low prep and I'll leave some links to that stuff below. I'll leave a link to all 200 plus ideas that are over on my site so that you have it. But today's focus is doing this on a budget, okay? So I spent a couple of days going to a couple of different Dollar Trees. Some of this stuff I collected before Halloween. But this stuff is still in the stores. You may not be able to find it all. You may have to go to a couple of different stores just depending on when you go. Um, they're constantly getting more truckloads of stuff. But I'm gonna show you these super cool ideas that are going to make Elf on the Shelf life so easy for you. Are you ready? All right. Give you a quick view of what we have here. And then I will explain them all to you. is a movie night. This is actually something that I posted on my site probably eight years ago doing an Elf on the Shelf movie night and the dollar store, Dollar Tree specifically makes that super, super easy for you. So here are all the things that I got that you can find too. They've got all kinds of candies for a dollar. So this allows you to give everybody their favorite candy or little pieces of their favorite candy, the mini size, the fun sizes, and then they have stuff like this, which my teenagers love this kind of stuff. Somebody already took one off of there in case you can't tell, but pretzel and cheese, that's super fun. And then you can get popcorn all day long at the dollar store or Dollar Tree. These are the little containers that I would possibly serve some of this stuff up in if I was gonna do individual sizes, but they also have big popcorn containers like this that make it super easy. And then you can buy super cool cups so that you, Elf comes and he, delivers all of this 
You could even do it just as messily as this. <laughs> You've got it all in there and maybe leave a little note. I've got printable note cards that you can use and leave for Elf on, or Elf can leave for your kiddos. And there you go. It is truly that easy. That is an Elf on the Shelf idea right there. Okay. All right. Another super cool idea. They have all of these door decoration type things at Dollar Tree. I love these. Like they're so glittery and shimmery and awesome they have these with little they had some with presents on them these had little gnomes i loved them i loved 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 them look at how cute that is so the idea that i have and then they have these little door ringers which i thought there was a set of three on here but i guess it's just one and then they have these door covers this door cover looks like this so what i'm what i'm going to do with this is take the door cover and cover the little kids bedroom door with it and then frame the door frame with these and then put this on the door hanger or on the doorknob and then we can even work these little things in these bows they have the little bread ties on the back sa bread sandwich bag ties those could get worked into here, or you could hot glue, well, I don't know that I would hot glue them onto this. You could tape them onto there, whatever you wanna do. But Elf can decorate the door, and then you can somehow tuck Elf onto the door so that he can be like, hey guys, I'm here. These are great arrival ideas, but these are also just great ideas as you're going through your 30 days of Elf on the Shelf or whatever it is that you're doing, okay? All right, I have lots of printables and lots of ideas over on my site for Elf on the Shelf notes where Elf leaves a note for the kids, or the kids write maybe their, their Christmas list. They write it out for Santa and they put it in here or Elf leaves a note in here. And this is the way to communicate with Santa, right? So this cool little mailbox, you can just leave it with your Elf and um, use it either way for kids to communicate with Santa or for Santa to communicate with kids or for the Elf to communicate with kids. Either way, super easy, super fun. That was a buck, very easy. All right. Dollar Store has lots of things like these cool red and green cereals. It is an off-brand, but that's okay. I'm going to take these. I'm going to put them into some of those triangular cello bags. I could not find those at uh, Dollar Tree, but I know I could grab those at Michael's. So I'll fill them up with these. It'll be triangular, so it'll be like the shape of a... Um, what is it called it will be the shape of a reindeer <laughs> thank you uh we will put on some googly eyes which they did not have at dollar tree but most of us have those in our craft supplies my dollar tree didn't have them maybe your dollar tree will use these little pom-poms here for the nose we can use some googly eyes and then pipe cleaners which they had and i thought i grabbed but maybe they fell out in the car i'm not sure and so you're just leaving these cute little cereal treats that the kids my kids love to eat dry cereal as a snack so Leave one for each kid, super fun, super easy. The Dollar Tree had tons of things like this. These make very low prep, very easy elf on the shelf ideas. So literally you could use a cute little container or buy a, and they have all kinds of containers at the Dollar, Dollar Tree, or you could use cute little gift bags, which they have at the Dollar Tree and put one of these in there for each child. And it comes with the markers and the little craft for them to color their own decor. And then they can have this sitting out anywhere that they want to display it in the house. But how easy is that? Just a dollar a piece for each kid. And that's an easy low prep idea. Just have these sitting out with Elf and he's bringing them a treat, right? Okay, other really cool, simple, no prep ideas are things like this little craft here. You get everything that you need in the bag to make this. So you can buy one of these paper plate crafts for each kid and have Elf bring those as a cool little treat. Another simple craft idea is something like this. The kids can make ornaments. You can write with a permanent marker on the back the year that they made them and the kid's name, but it comes with what they need to paint these. So buy enough for each child and that can be what Elf on the Shelf brings. Or Elf doesn't have to bring anything, guys. Elf can just move around and kids will be happy, all right? But these are just quick little things that you can add in. All right, this was another super cute container. So I thought, well, what can we do with this? And they had lots of different ideas like this. Hot chocolate, when Elf brings hot chocolate, that is fun. They had some of these cool cups like this. They also had some coffee cups and things like that you could buy for the older kids. You could buy little cups like these. They had all of these there at the Dollar Tree. Coffee cups for the big kids, 
the travel type insulated cups, they had all of that. So just look for any of it and the kids will love it. Elf can bring hot chocolate. So what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at eight ideas, okay? Another easy one, post-it notes. Just take the post-it notes and write little clues on them and clue one, clue two, clue three, whatever, and have the kids go through the house looking for all the clues. Give them a clue on each post-it note for where the next clue is and yeah, they'll run around and find what they, find all kinds of fun stuff um, until they arrive at the final destination, which is a treat or which is another elf or which is your elf, however you wanna do it. But think of ways, think outside the box. How can you use things like post-it notes to interact with your kids and elf on the shelf, okay? All right, I initially purchased, hold on, I'm adjusting my light, okay. I initially purchased these on one trip at one location and had to go to another trip a week or to another store a week later to get the stockings. So again, all stores don't have all of the things all of the time. You may have to travel to a couple of different stores to find what you're looking for, but leave a stocking for each kid and then the stocking decorations. This is enough to decorate three different stockings but just a really fun, creative thing for the kids to do. And your elf can leave that for them. So super, super fun, super cheap. Okay, um, another thing you can do, I have an idea over on my site, crystalandcom.com, where you take a cereal box and elf comes through the cereal box. Um, I'll link to that below so that you have it, but reuse your box. So this is really two ideas in one. You've got the treat that you're leaving, the reindeer treat, but then also, um, you can use the box as another prop. Which leads me to this. They had these yummy chips like this. Eat up the chips, but save the container and have, you stick the elf inside and you can cut out a place here for elf to be popping out. Um, it's a fun, the kids love that kind of stuff when the elf is popping out of a box or out of a container. That's another thing that you can do. All right, we grabbed milk duds as well. Milk duds are a great way for elf to leave behind a little poop. <laughs> right super fun okay so that's a quick simple easy idea just set elf leave him on your toilet like leave the lid down leave him sitting on the toilet and have some little poopies there for him okay this was super fun this is a um it's a dice a foamy dice that has dry erase blocks on it so you can either turn this into a game or leave messages on here from elf however you want to do it uh, I've got some printable cards over on my site that you can print off to leave instructions for how to play the game or roll a one and you get to stay up an extra 10 minutes tonight. Roll a two and you get two bedtime stories tonight. Roll a three, like it can be that simple, right? It doesn't have to be extravagant. It's not like roll a four, you get your own island. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to make this a little fun, okay? Something like this, think outside the box, guys. So this is one of those basting brushes that's silicone. My husband said, why don't you use this? And Elf on the Shelf could use it like to have them propped up and we'll figure it out. But we'll prop them up and Elf on the Shelf can be riding the broom somewhere, you know, like, wee. I thought that was fun, <laughs> right? Cute idea, okay? All right, these, these are not shot glasses or these are not ping pong beer glasses. I probably shouldn't say that. These are, these could be used for lots of things. Let me tell you, a set of these mini solo cups at Target was $14, not even lying. Unless it was just mismarked somehow, I don't even know. These were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take them and we're gonna stack them up and build a pyramid with them. And then we're gonna use a ball from one of these or if you have a ping pong ball, and it can just like have the elves, have one elf or a couple of elves and maybe some other toys, Barbies, GI Joes, whatever, all set up with your pyramid of cups. And they're, you know, throwing the little balls at them to try to knock them over. It'll be fun, right? Super cute, okay? These hats were so fun. They were a dollar a piece. They light up. I've, I had never seen these till this year at Dollar Tree. Uh, so elf can bring one for each kid. Just a super fun little thing for, uh, the elf to leave for the kids. These looked like a lot of fun. Grab some of these and you can fill them up with candies. You can fill them up with all kinds of things, whatever you wanna do, but it's just another way to leave a cute little uh, Christmas themed treat for the kids 
I mean, you could, you could fill it up with all kinds of things. So many different ideas. Candy's the first thing that comes to mind, but you could even put in a bunch of beans and then hide a few little treats in there and the kids can find the treats, something like that. Okay. All right. Next idea. This is fun and simple. Aluminum foil. Take the aluminum foil, shape it like a Hershey kiss, put the shape it like a Hershey kiss, put the elf on the shelf inside of it so that the top of its head, so that the top of its head is popping out of the top of the Hershey kiss. Do you know what I mean? You're taking that, you're making a big Hershey kiss. The elf on the shelf is peeking out of the top and then just take a piece of paper with a blue marker and write kiss on the back so that it resembles a Hershey kiss. So fun, right? Super fun, super easy. Okay. Let's just keep moving right along and see what else we have here. Here are some more easy ideas. Here are some more easy ideas that require absolutely just very, very little prep. So pool table, set the pool table up and your multiple elves can be playing pool when your kids find them in the morning or grab some Barbies and Legos and stuffed animals and they can play pool with them as well. Super easy, super fun. This was a dollar. You could do the same thing with football and have them playing a game of football. Easy, fun idea. A dollar. You could do the same thing with these darts and then multi-purpose. Use the little balls for that that we talked about. But yeah, have elf and other animals playing this whenever the kids wake up. This is another great idea. Have them playing store. So here's your money. Have them sitting on a little stool and have little items sitting out that they're buying and you've got your... Barbies and, and your other figurines, your Buzz Lightyear or whatever, all playing along, playing store, um, you know, buying things, what have you. Super fun. All right, I bought this thing of conditioner. Why did I buy the conditioner? I know that sounds weird, but it's not. So the conditioner is going to be used, if you mix it with cornstarch, which you probably have in your pantry, you wanna do equal parts cornstarch and equal parts conditioner. Elf on the shelf, and I bought the pink so that it resembles kind of red. Um, but Elf on the Shelf can bring what the kids need to make Play-Doh, like a Play-Doh that is uh, almost like kinetic sand, almost. Uh, maybe more like scoopable Play-Doh that reminds you of ice cream scoopable Play-Doh. It's a really cool consistency. Okay, another idea is Elf on the Shelf can bring, they had these cool little, they remind me of snow globe uh, ornaments that the kids can make. So bring the supplies and then leave instructions for how to make a little ornament with this. But basically this is like, remember back when you were in kindergarten and first grade, back in the day when you did fun crafts at school in the eighties and be, before, um, and you would use a baby food jar to make like a snow globe. It's the same kind of thing. So you would unscrew this. You could leave a little tree. So super glue a little tree here and then fill this up with this, the fake snow, and make a cool little fun snow globe, right? Super fun. Okay, this is toilet paper. What would you be doing with toilet paper and elf on the shelf? Well, let me tell you, so much fun awaits. Take your rolls of toilet paper, stack them up in, take three of them and stack them and make a snowman. And I will leave a link below to my printable snowman pieces that you just print out and cut and glue onto your toilet paper rolls and it makes the cutest snowman and you can have that snowman with your elf on the shelf waiting for your kids super cute super fun all right what else do we have we have this my husband found this and he thought that this was super cute and so did i basically we do a lot we used to do a lot of traveling for christmas um well I take that back. We used to travel a lot between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we would come to, before we lived in San Antonio, we would come to San Antonio to visit my in-laws for Thanksgiving. Well, Elf on the Shelf needed to be dealt with. So Elf on the Shelf would travel with us or what have you. So this can serve as Elf on the Shelf suitcase. And if he's traveling, you know, put they make Elf on the Shelf clothes. Come on, get with the program. Don't you know all this? I'm sure you know all this. Um, you could put Barbie clothes in here, your G.I. Joe clothes, whatever. Elf on the Shelf clothes. And, you know, you can leave a little note using one of my printable notes that says, hey, pack up. We're headed to grandma and grandpa's, whatever. Have the clothes and then have your elf sitting there and boom. Or we're taking a trip to the mountains, whatever it is. Okay. 
fun, right? And this can be their little suitcase. I thought that was fun. Okay, I have another idea to share with you. And Dollar Tree has tons of little bags like this. They have bigger ones, smaller ones. You get three for a dollar in this pack. So take a pair of socks, cute, fun, festive socks, and take one of these magic towels, which is really just a wash rag, and put them in a bag, One, a set of these for, for each kid in a bag. So much fun. Have you ever done these before? These are, my kids have always loved these. My kid that's now 22 years old remembers when I used to buy him these. So they're just different designs. These are all, who is that? That's Batman. This is Iron Man. These are other superheroes. They had frozen, they had all kinds of stuff, but basically this is a round washcloth and when you put it under the water, it opens up into a full wash rag. It's super cool, the kids have fun with these. It's like magic. Okay, another idea that we have, they had lots of these little, they had white and clear. I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to print off my, I've got, okay, this might, this is not for everyone, okay? Not everybody's gonna like this idea. But I have a Elf on the Shelf surveillance thing printable over on my site. If you print that out and cut out the little camera looking thing, you can put the camera lens here, stick this on your tree, and then Elf on the Shelf is always watching. Now, I get it, that's not for everyone. Some people are gonna be like, that's terrible. You're a horrible parent, why would you do that? I'm not for everyone. But, cute idea, if, fun idea, potentially, for some of us, okay? All right, so there you go. That's one way that you could use that. They had these dry erase boards. You know, Dollar Tree is not just everything's a dollar now. Some things, they've got their prime primo stuff. This was a $3 board, but it's a dry erase board. Leave it out for Elf on the Shelf to leave notes for the kids, or vice versa, the kids could leave notes for Elf on the Shelf. Okay, super fun, right? So you could write things like, Samuel, I saw you being naughty. Elf is watching, Elf saw, you know, whatever. It could be a note from Elf. I also have behavior reports that are good behavior, bad behavior. When Elf sees the kids doing good things, caught doing good, caught doing bad. So um, that's, you could also print out one of those and use these magnets to put it on here, okay? This year, the Dollar Tree has all of these cool little village things. Look at how adorable that is. So you could either set up a Christmas village that Elf on the Shelf brings, okay? Look at how cute those are. Or, and they have like she, those sheets of fake snow, the uh, like the felt fake snow, you could use that and set up a little village. Or you could buy these things and then buy like trees. I've got a couple of different trees here. These are cute, right? They light up. Let me see. Oh, you gotta take the little thing out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at how cute. Can I see? Yes. There you go. Hold that. All right, and then they have things like, the, they call it vase filler. Hobby Lobby calls it scatter, but this stuff is great for your tiered tray decor. So that's what I was gonna say. Elf on the Shelf could bring tiered tray village. So you could take all of this stuff, set it up on your tiered tray, and have Elf on the Shelf sitting on your tiered tray. Super cute tiered tray decor, or just super cute Elf on the Shelf oh, idea. Okay. And then Elf can move, and all of your uh, village stuff can stay on your tray. Okay. All right. And here is my last idea. Lenny found this one. It's pretty cool. And it is a little box that's like a book and it opens. The kids will never find Elf on the Shelf in here. They'll never find it. They will be looking and looking forever. So you can just take your Elf, stick them in there, close it up, and just have it sitting there. You could even put a little tape on it so that it shuts completely. They will never find it. Part of, part of the fun joys, hold on, let me come over here. Part of the fun joys of doing Elf on the Shelf is the excitement that the get, kids get, not even necessarily from what Elf leaves them, but the hunt, the hunt for the Elf, okay? That is something that is super fun to the kids. They love it, they look forward to it. So, looking for an elf that's stuck inside of a fake book, that's super fun. All right, so there you have it, guys. Those are our ideas. I did buy uh, a few other things. Here was a clear glass ball or a clear ornament ball. Here was some other fake snow. 
Here was a little basket that you could use, just another way to display your movie night, your, uh, your popcorn night, your hot chocolate night, or you can use this until the kids to start going through and weeding out things that, toys that they wanna donate or get rid of. It could be used for that. Also, what happens when Elf on the Shelf has a bad fall? Hold on, I have here we go. Okay, so there's the dilemma. To pick up the elf or not to pick up the elf. That's your decision. The rules are for you, you decide. The book says, when you read the storybook, it says don't touch him. But at my house, mom and dad can touch the elf, okay? My house, my rules, all right? But if you need something to pick up the elf so that everybody doesn't go all hysterical because you're gonna pick up the elf if it falls out of the tree or falls off the fireplace or falls off the shelf, <laughs> whatever it falls off of. If you're needing something to pick it up with, these, you can label them and just have them sitting around. Like you could deliver these the first night that elf comes or whenever you want to. And they are the the elf picker upper. So say that elf is up on the shelf and he falls off, you can pick them up just like this and not worry about it and put them back on the shelf, right? Because you're not supposed to touch elf on the shelf. So that's one thing, that's another thing that you could use something like this for. Also, I ran into big lots tonight because there's a big lots over by one of the dollar stores that we went to. Look at these, look at how fun these are. They had these on the shelf. I want to say they were $1.99 and there's a, it's a pack of four different cake bites in here and you can leave a note on them, but look at how fun that is. That's another treat that you could leave one day for your elf on the shelf. And then this is something that I found before Halloween at Target in the Target dollar spot. And I grabbed it because I don't know if it's glass or plastic. I don't know. I think that's glass. Um, it is a plastic what do they call this? I don't even have my glasses. It is a fancy word. Cloche, is that what they call it? It was $5 in the dollar spot. But basically what I'm going to use it for is if Elf on the Shelf, um, you know, if, it, if he loses his magic, because if the kids touch it, he loses his magic. So if he loses his magic, I'm going to put him in, him, her, whatever, inside here. I'll have to take this plastic covering off, obviously. Put them in there. And then I will leave a little bag with some of this sparkly fake snow that has glitter in it. And I will leave a note that says, we've got to sprinkle this on him so that he'll regain his magic, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the crazy stuff. And, um, and then Elf will sit inside of here. I'll let the kids sprinkle the magic on it. Uh, you could also have a glove, like an old, one of your kids' old gloves, and you can have the glove sitting the glove can be there with it so that, um, you know, I use this glove to pick the elf up and put him in here. And now we got to put this magic elf dust on him so that he regains his magic, whatever, or use these little tongs. So there you have it. There are some fun elf on the shelf ideas for you that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Honestly, even if you go to Dollar General or wherever, they're going to have a lot of this same kind of fun stuff dollar spots, dollar whatever. It's like a treasure hunt, right? So see what you can find. I've given you some great ideas. I wanna say there's over 20 of them here, maybe more. Plus I have over 200 over on my site. Some of them require some work. Some of them are no prep. Some of them are just printables that you print and go. I've even got cards for when you forget to move off on the shelf and you don't have any of this handy and you're like, oh my gosh, what's my excuse? Print out the cards. I would print them out in advance that you have them in the waiting because you're gonna forget. You're going to forget, it just happens. Um, and then that way you just stick the card out and be like, okay, taken care of. There you have it. All right guys, hop over, visit crystalandcup.com. I've got tons of ideas over there. Um, and I've also got a cool FAQ video that I will leave at the end of this video that answers all your questions like, what is Elf on the Shelf? What do we do? How do we get started? Etc. Okay. All right, guys, y'all have a great rest of your evening. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.